hello and welcome back guys to the another video of the java tutorial series uh, so today onwards uh, we are covering oops in java okay so what is oops oops is nothing but the object oriented pro programming language and simula is considered to be the first object oriented pro programming language and someone says uh, small talk is considered the fully first fully truly object oriented programming language okay so uh, in today's world, uh, you can see uh, C++, PHP, Python, uh, and C Sharp, Java are the popular object-oriented programming languages over there. And so, yes. Uh, so, f first of all, object means the real-world entity such as pen, chair, table, computer, watch, anything you see. Uh, like windows uh, bed are the object uh, object oriented programming is a methodology of the paradigm to design a program using classes and object what is classes and object we will cover in the next our upcoming videos we will go in step by steps okay and it simplifies the software development and maintenance by providing some concepts such as o object classes inheritance polymorphism abstraction encapsulation so these are some features of the object oriented programming languages and here you can see one nice diagram is there uh, and we will go in such a way in, in this way also okay well we will cover first object then class then inheritance polymorphism then abstraction and then encapsulation okay we'll cover in depth uh, each of each one of these okay so before going into the oops concepts there are some naming convention that you should follow so that your code looks nice and clean okay so the java naming com convention is a rule to follow as you decide what to name your identifier such as class, package, variable, constant, method. Uh, till now, you can, you have seen uh, we are uh, giving some names to the variables, some name to the classes. So there are some naming conventions uh, declared by the Sun Microsystem or the Net Netscape, uh, which we should follow so that uh, our code uh, should be uh, maintainable and uh, readable to the other users also. Okay. Uh, since he, here you can see the second point but it is not forced to follow okay you are not forced to follow it but it so it is known as convention not rules okay this these convention are suggested by the several java communities such as java uh, sun microsystems and netscape as i have said to you all classes interfaces and packages methods and fields of the java programming language are given according to the java naming conventions okay if you fail to follow this convention it may generate confusions as i said it may generate confusion to the person who is reading your code and it may be uh, get some error not errors ambiguity yes so let's talk about some advantages that you get uh, in using the object oriented programming languages so first of all oops makes the development and maintenance easier whereas in procedure oriented programming language it is not easy to manage if the code grows as project size increases okay so what is procedure oriented programming language the, pro the language such as c are the procedure oriented programming languages and languages like java are the object oriented programming language we will cover in depth in our upcoming videos okay uh, oops provides the data hiding whereas in procedure oriented programming language global data can be accessed from anywhere uh, for the data hiding we can use abstractions abstraction is a um, feature of the object oriented programming languages uh, which allows us to hide the complexity okay and third one is uh, oops provides the ability to simulate the real, real world event more effectively okay one second guys okay so where we are so these are some naming convention that you should follow uh, while writing your code and I, i'll talk about the advantages also uh, and in our uh, next upcoming videos we will be starting for the covering the object and class and inheritance uh, as follows okay so thank you guys for watching this video